I'm gonna just give y'all three easy steps, man. I'm gonna cut up, cut to the chase. I've been living overseas for a couple of years, traveling, enjoying my life, but I've been in Colombia for a little over a year now. And I enjoy it. I'm gonna give you three easy steps, man. Three easy fucking steps. Do you listen to me? You don't listen to me. The first step is simple. Cut the bullshit. Cut the BS. I don't know if that's allowed on YouTube. Just cut the BS. A lot of y'all got things in your life. If you want to live overseas, you got to cut things off. You got to cut out whatever's holding you back. Because this is a, a lifestyle change. So whatever's holding you back. You got a little, you know what I'm saying? Some girl that you're talking to at the moment. You got to cut it off. It's runs. I would keep it to be, and I had a, before I left the country, I had a couple girls I was talking to, but I had one main girl I was talking to, and I was just, I started picking and choosing what I want to do in my life, and boom, I just said, fuck it, book my, book my one-way ticket, got out to the States, and loved it ever since, and I, I enjoyed the States, but I, had, I, I wanted to live my life, and I wanted to do something else different, or to be different, so yeah, that's the first thing you got to do, man, you got to, you got to cut the bullshit, you gotta get the fuck. You gotta cut out anything distract you. You've got ties to family members and apartment. Cut off the bullshit. Car, no roots, anything that's got you attached to the states. Cut it off. Even if you got a couple of loose things, you know, cut it off or just store it away. Store it in a little storage unit or something. You gotta cut off BS. This is just how it is. I'm not gonna give you no nerdy instructions in this video. I'm gonna tell you that what you need to do. Cut off the B BS and it's just you. You know how it is, it's a guy when it's just you. You gotta make it like that. Cut out the bullshit, like, cut out the BS. Detach yourself from that country, from the, the country you're in. Keep your families, your friends, always stay in touch with them, but you gotta cut off whatever's keeping you there, whatever you're attached to that you feel like you can build a life with. Unless it's making money, don't cut that off, obviously. Always keep your investments and your business going, but you gotta cut off the bullshit. Let yourself free, because this is a free way of living. Like, when you leave the country, and you know you're working, and you get to that next level where you just want to travel and see the world, but also make sure you're living and taking care of yourself, you got to detach yourself. <sighs> Nothing more to it, man. I had so many Johns I was talking to. I just said, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. I wanted to do something else. And I went on and did it. I went on and did it. Here I am. Almost two years now, and I enjoy. It. I don't regret the decision I made at all. Should I cut my lease? I remember I, I cut my lease. I cut up. I cut my lease that I have my apartment. I fucking disconnected with all them Johns I was talking to at the time. Uh, even a John that was basically with me for like weeks at a time, just at my place, like just cut it off. Like I wanted to do. I wanted to live my life. I wanted to do something else. And then I left. That's how it went for me. But that's number one. You gotta, you gotta detach. You gotta cut off shit. I was gonna cut off everything. I spent breaking leases, taking risks, leaving the country, booking a flight next week. I did it all. I didn't give a fuck. You know, and I did sacrifice my family in a sense. Obviously, I'm still attached to them. I still talk to them, but I did sacrifice my time with them. So I cut them off in a sense. No, my family's still there with me. Uh, number two, gonna get right to it. <sighs> gotta find your way to make income. There's two values you can take. You can take the, the risk way, or you can take the simple and more convenient way. And the more convenient way, I always tell people now, if people ask, how can I do this? I will tell them, get a job online, work remotely. It could be a minimum wage. It could be like a basic job making, you know, anywhere from 15 to $20 an hour, or even from 12 to $20 an hour, full time or overtime. Take as much work as you can while you're working remotely. Uh, you can do it that way. So if you were the job route, there's many job routes you could take. Uh, for me, I would suggest if I was to restart, I would go to college, make a bunch of connections, get my degree, pass it any way possible. Just get your fucking degree, that bachelor's degree, master's degree, then find a remote job. If you have the degree, it pre-qualifies you. I don't think it's like, oh, college is so expensive. No, take a community college, take an online school, just get the bachelor's degree, get something to certify you to make that getting the job process easier. But if you, it's ways to get jobs without without the degree, but the degree just helps. Fuck it, plain and simple. And if the depth, you got the depth after this with getting the degree, I mean, work, living overseas is gonna help you with that depth a lot. Cause you ain't gonna be spending no fucking money, especially if you're a guy. You, if you spend a lot of money, you're a guy, you sassy as fuck, I don't care. You spend a lot of money, you never got money, and you a single guy, you sassy as fuck. Or are you just tricking? But you a sassy ass nigga if you always spending money, I don't care. 
can't tell me nothing different. You sassy. Like, how the fuck you working? You don't got no money, but you single and no responsibility. Not a lot of responsibilities. You sassy, nigga. Either you sassy, you gotta be. If you ain't got no money, you better be having a, like a shawty, a bitch, or something. But if you single and you ain't never got money, you sassy, you weak, and you a bitch. You need to get your life together. Oh well, yeah, whatever job you work in, work that job. And if you work on getting a remote job, uh, and after that, just uh, get a, get steady with the job. Understand the, the routes and roots of the job. Work work at it for about two for about a month. Work at that remote job for a month. Get accustomed to it. Get accustomed to the schedule. You know, be the team player for the fucking job, and then boom, you can go set up. We'll get to that next part. You got the job? That's cool. Here's round number two. Start an online business. Online business is a little riskier because nothing business is nothing is guaranteed. Nothing is solidified. So your main income can go up and down. But if you're living overseas, you have some flexibility because if you learn to live overseas, the way those people live with their spending amounts and the amount of income they have, then you'll be fine. But it's very risky because of the fact that your money can go up and down in a business and a lot of shit can go left or right. So if you start an online business, find something that you are confident in, a uh, low investment that requires skills. So if you're starting an online business, do a business where you're selling a skill, selling your skill that you have. So you need to learn some shit. Marketing, sales, marketing, sales, web building, coding, managing AI, management, skills outsourcing you need to learn a skill you need to learn how to do some shit like if you can't be trying to come out the country trying to start a business and you don't got no skills you don't know how to do anything go learn some shit go on youtube go ask me ask somebody talk to a friend talk to a connection make some friends those friends or connections are big learn from people uh, if you want to make it easier do this this business with a friend and go live overseas with him it's gonna make it so i'll say you make it four to five times easier if you take it less riskier you got more income coming in um so yeah that's a, that's a big part you gotta you gotta have some income coming in those two big parts the online business you can't be bullshit you can't be just starting hobby hobby type business you need to be that be need, need to be your number one fucking priority because if like you want to live overseas are you just trying to live comfortably or are you still a man that i'm talking to and you're trying to do what you need to do i mean Fuck, we were here trying to waste time for Like, it just doesn't make sense. We still got to make our money, man. You still a man. I ain't trying to say live overseas and be lazy and just live comfortably. I mean, still be on your grind. Just now you get to enjoy yourself a little bit more. And you get, you get, you live the, you live a more blessed and appreciated life overseas. You'll see it. But we don't have to get, we're not getting into that in this video. We're going to talk about number three now. So now that you got your money, now that you cut your bullshit off. Number three is book that one-way flight to, the, to, your, to your, your country of choice. Just book that shit. Don't waste your time. Nah, don't waste your time, man. Get right to it. Book it. Book that one-way flight. Um, get you a nice, nice apartment for one month for a reasonable price. Don't get finessed. So you, can, you know, for these things, you gotta learn. You gotta get some connections. Gotta learn how, where you can book, how to book it. You know, if you ever got some questions like that, just send me a message. But yeah, book that flight. That's number three. Number three is just book that flight, man. You set. Book that flight. I'm telling you, bro, people out here survive with five hundred dollars a month and live a bit. And they, they seem to be having fun for some reason off that shit while living in their living and control their own shit in these foreign countries. And it's amazing that was possible. I'm not saying you should limit yourself to making five hundred a month. You should be trying to go for tens of thousands of dollars at the end of this journey. But right now, if you just want to get out there, you know, take that risk, man. And say, yeah, take that risk, man. Book that flight, take that risk. Get it done. I waste your fucking time, man. A lot of people, man. So much potential out here. They just sometimes they need that message. Maybe this this video is that message for you. I wanna cut to the chase, man. Those are three ways. I don't wanna say nothing else, man. You can either do it, listen to me, or not. If you got questions specific, send me a message. I've been doing this for a couple years now. I'm a risk taker. I work online. I stream, I like to have fun. I wanted to put myself out there. I'm putting myself out there now to just tell some of my stories. Y'all can see it now. But yeah, I'm working on them overseas, doing my thing. And if you're ever interested in coming out here to Colombia, because that's where I'm at right now, but I always put on my story where I'm based. So if you want to link out with me, 
Shoot me a message on the gram. We'll make some shit shake. <laughs> yeah, but that's all, man. Those are three steps. Make that shit happen.